Hey guys, what's up? Jeffrey here, and today I'm back with yet another video on my channel. And today we are following up on my previous Spin Tires video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on this game 100% for free. It's going to involve two methods. One is going to be using a third party mod software, and the other is going to be using a website that you specifically download mods off of, which I will explain more here in a second when I show you. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Google and click the first link below and head over to WinRAR Archiver. Find your language and your 32 or 64. I have English. I'm going to click 64 bit. The setup will start down here. It's three megabytes. It literally will take no time at all to download. Click open. Once it is open, click yes, and it'll have terms and agreements. Obviously, click install. This is the evaluation copy. So there is a paid for copy, but I've never gotten it. And I've been using this program for like honestly seven, eight years or more. I never once paid for it. So just click OK and then click done uh, this folder will pop up you can just click out of this note if you do have 7-zip you can use it I just prefer WinRAR it's better in my opinion so now after that you're gonna head to the second link below to the softpedia website this is the third-party software that allows you to add mods into the game uh, without dragging and dropping all the files and it being annoying this is way simpler click download now soft media or softpedia mirror us it might be different if you're in another country Click that and then it's automatically going to start down here in the bottom corner uh, just like it would any other site. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I already have it downloaded. Once that is done, you're going to head to this other website and find a mod that you want. This is a website that has mods and pretty much the mods whenever you open the folder up, there's an exe file in there and it runs a program and the program is made by World of Mods and you can install the mods directly into the games folder. Uh, making it really easy to put mods into the game uh, and you actually don't need the GSME or JG GSME or whatever it's called the mod enabler that I just showed you this right here you actually don't need this if you download the mods off of this website uh, some mods on here might need this but not all of them most of the ones I've gotten you haven't had to uh, use this so now that we are done with this and you now have a few mods downloaded you are going to head to your desktop Navigate to your downloads. I have a Chevy truck, um, a map, and then as well as another map here and here. Or not map, but vehicle, sorry. A vehicle and then a map there. So now after that, you also want to have the JSGME folder. You're going to open that up and leave that open. Then navigate down to the local disk C Go to the games folder, find spin tires, and then drag this into here. But as you can see, I already have a setup over here. So you're going to drag that over here, then double click on setup, click yes, click I accept, click next. And it's going to, once again, shows the location, the spin tires folder, click next again, create a desktop icon, and then click install. You want to make sure that you install this program specifically in this folder so that way it installs the mods into here. Now once that is done, you're going to click off of this and open this up. Now the mods that I have here, this mod here and this mod here require this software. As you can see, I already have two mods enabled. So all you're going to want to do is click on this folder and then this folder right here It has this media inside of it. Click back and drag this first folder over to available mods. And then we have the level here, level underscore mud. We're going to open that up. And as you can see, I already have that actually over here. We're going to go ahead and disable that and delete it. And then redrag it into here. And then exit off that. Now click this and click this arrow here. Click this, click this arrow. And that enables the mods on the game. Uh, if they are non highlighted, that means they have worked. If they are like grayed out, then it did not work and something messed up with the mod. Either re download it and redo it or add in another one. So before we start up the game, you can actually exit out of this. As you can see, it says three mods found, three activated. Click close. We're going to install these other two mods. You have this Rocky River mod here. What you're going to do is click on this, click yes, and then you are going to navigate to your games folder once again which is in local disk C and then under games we have the spin tires folder 
And then we are just going to click OK and install it into the spin tires folder. Attention, I already have this installed. Click continue. Click close. And then here we go. Here is this. Here is the beefed up Jeep that I downloaded. Uh, it's the same way. And once you use this once and select the file location, then you don't have to do it again. Once again, just click install and it will install these files right into the game. Uh, this is the second method that I was talking about. Uh, you can get these mods off that World of Mods website, and it is kind of easier, especially if you don't want to have to mess with this other software. So once you've done that, we will start up Spin Tires. Uh, sorry, I have the shortcut over here because I have the actual game as well. And then click Play. And then you can see here we have the level underscore mud right here. And then over on this side, we have the new map that I just downloaded uh, previously just before we came into the game. And then we have, as you can see, the beefed up U.S. We have that. We have the Chevy truck that I wanted to add in. And then also, if you saw the other available mods I had earlier, I had this Jeep added. And as you can see, start game. Game loads. Starts up. We have all of the vehicles in the game oops sorry all of the vehicles in the game got the chevy suburban back there and the jeep there sorry not chevy suburban chevy k10 and then the other jeep right there and then the jeep that i am in right here in front of me so as you can see it's very simple to add mods to this game um pretty much all you have to do is download this software or download mods off that website if you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button and most importantly guys have a good day Oh, my God.